wow, sounds like you may not have the best job in the world. Now, you might think it's the best job in the world, but what you've just described to me was that you're going to war every day. You're going into an environment where you feel a lot of pressure, and this is causing you to obsess even more about your weight, and this is making you uncomfortable, and at the end of the day, the only way that you can cope with it is binging and purging. That is a lot. You also say you recognize that this is triggering your unhealthy behaviors. All right, well, I'm gonna pull a sheet from my own playbook. This is what I did. I was working in the music business. We worked with recording artists, very creative people. We went into board meetings and I felt very much, um, I felt like it was really important that I looked cool, you know, that I looked together, that I looked edgy and creative because I, I thought, you know, if I don't, if I don't fit in with that, then they won't think that I'm a good marketing person and they won't wanna work with me and all these, you know, things went on in my head. Now, what I did may sound very radical to you and it may not be for you, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, I quit. <laughs> I resigned my position. It wasn't entirely for that reason, but I was burned out. I was tired of going in every day and feeling like I was fighting war, you know, with with corporate stuff, which is normal anywhere that you work, and then with all the eating and weight stuff and image stuff and all of that, I knew that it was time for my well-being for me to get out, and I did. I got out. That sounds radical, okay? And I was married and I had the ability. We weren't entirely financially able to do that and I did need to pick up some work on the side, but I did have the ability to do that, maybe more than a single person might. And you might be a single person who's saying, well, there's no way I could leave my job. But I'm just gonna challenge you on a few things. You've had other jobs before probably, and you will have other jobs again. And if you are in an environment that is making you unhealthy and that is stealing from your life, I don't care how much money they're paying you, it's not worth it. And if you feel that this is an unhealthy place for you to be, then I would say that you need to consider getting out. Okay. Now the other side of that, if you feel like you are right where you're supposed to be, then I encourage you to stay, but be wise about what you're doing. If you feel really triggered by the image stuff and by what's going on, you've got to find someone to talk to and you need to tell them what's going on at work and ask them to help you plan your day out so that those things will not trigger you so much. The most important thing in your life is knowing who you are and feeling secure in who you are. And so whatever it takes, if it's leaving your job, if it's, you know, I encourage you to go to counseling anyway, sounds like there's a lot of other issues going on, really nail that down and then don't let something like a job or a paycheck ruin the freedom that you really want to have. It may sound radical, I just think it's important to consider changing jobs is not the end of the world and especially not when compared to finding a lifestyle that is more healthy and more happy.